Good Monday, makers. It's time to check out more community builds. And as always, we have some really unique and awesome ones to look at. Let's just jump right in and check them out. First up is something really cool from Kyle. He said he's planning another maker pipe project. You might remember a few weeks back, we talked about his safety railing or kind of enclosure railing for a loft storage area. And he's back again. And he said he wanted to practice using Fusion 360. And what he did was ended up making mini connectors for bamboo skewers. And we actually made mini connector files for the skewers a while back whenever we first launched the minis because we released the files for like large diameter straws and several different things in case you wanted to plan or use different materials. But apparently the folder was empty for the bamboo skewers. Not sure what happened there. Sorry about that. Uh, but instead of, you know, reaching out to us, he just decided he's going to make them himself and it would be a good opportunity to practice his fusion skills, which is really great because he did some really cool stuff. Not only did he make the connectors, uh, you know, the standard connectors like the 9D and the T and all of that, he also went above and beyond and made an adjustable angle flange, adjustable 180, adjustable angle connector, and I think even some of the rigid, uh, just standard flanges, he made a version of those as well, and made those for bamboo skewers. He said he likes using them because they're really rigid and sturdy. Uh, you know, they're solid pieces of, of wood, pretty much. And yeah, it's just super cool that he did that and shared the files. I'll link them down below as well as his original post if you want to see it. And uh, just really great. Thanks so much, Kyle, for sharing this. I think you can see here there's the adjustable 180. And that's either the adjustable flange that he made or the rigid flange. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, thanks so much for sharing that. Really cool. And if you guys out there also want to print your own for Bambi Skewers, uh, you can get those files linked in the description. Thanks so much, Kyle, for sharing that. Really cool. Next up is a build from James, and this is really awesome as well. This is a cart that he said he built for a friend. He used three-quarter inch empty conduit for the frame of the cart and the uh, axle sleeve as well. And basically, well, actually, I, I guess the main part of the cart is made from wood, but the canopy is made from maker pipe and conduit. As you can see here, he's got it attached. I think he's using flanges. Yes, he's got the rigid flanges here, and I think he's even got couplings stacked on top of the flanges. And the reason he did that was so he could use the quick clamps that we released uh, a little while ago to be able to take the canopy off so it would fit inside of a van so they could haul it to different things. He didn't say what the cart was going to be used for, but based on the pots that there's a that are in one of the pictures here, maybe it's going to be like a flower cart or something. Not entirely sure, but whatever it is, it looks really beautiful and really awesome. And you can see he made this really great and pretty cart that's got storage in it and everything with wood. And then he used maker pipe and conduit to build this frame. And here we can see uh, that the main frame of the the kind of the canopy structure. And he just did that. It looks like adjustable angle connectors, nine degree connectors, some T's. And he looks like he painted the conduit black to match the connectors. And it looks really great. And I think he said the canopy was custom tailored, which is really cool and looks beautiful on there. And then he said he machined an axle. Uh, out of one inch steel and then the conduit goes over top of that and he looks like he's got some old bike wheels or, or some kind of um you know wheel it looks like it's made for bikes i'm pretty sure so that's really great and just a really beautiful car all the way around and uh, the maker pipe is awesome and the way he incorporated it into the build was really cool so thanks so much for sharing that james looks like uh, a really awesome cart that you made for your friend Next up is a build from Matt. And this is really great because he said he's had these up for almost five years now. And as you can see, they're well in use. There's tons of tomatoes climbing up and we can't really see the entirety of the structure, but it looks like uh, maybe a rectangle or a rectangle kind of box shape that he's got around a garden bed here. Maybe it's just freestanding, it looks like. And then he's got, you know, some trellis netting attached to the, the horizontals and the vertical. And that's really great. But I wanted to highlight really the main thing that he, he shared in this was the longevity of the coating, uh, which is great because a lot of people ask us for that uh, or, or for information about that, like how well does it do outside and, and builds like this? Because, you know, conduit is galvanized uh, and holds up really well uh, for builds outside. But the connectors, you know, we, we do a corrosion resistant bath they go through and then we coat on top of that. Uh, the black connectors and silver, they're both corrosion resistant. Nothing is rust proof, but, you know, he said that after five years, the paint is faded, which you can see there. And he said there's some pinhole rust spots, um, which is kind of what you have to watch out for. Like I said, it's corrosion resistant. 
So if you get dings in the connector or, you know, after if you take them apart, put them back together, just use them a bunch in different ways, then you're going to get scratches on it. And unless you recoat them, then you're going to have those, you know, rust spots develop. But he said overall, he's really impressed. And uh, he said investing in good products pays off down the road. You will not regret the purchase, which is great to hear. And uh, he said he expects at least 10 more years out of them, which is awesome. But yeah, five years of exposure to the elements. That's got to be one of the, the longest builds besides Dave's parents' garden builds, which we saw a little bit ago. But yeah, thanks so much, Matt, for sharing this review of the T-Connector. Glad everything is holding up well, and it looks like uh, your garden's doing great, which is also great to see and hear about. So thanks so much, Matt, for sharing that. Really awesome. Next up is a hack from Kyle. We just looked at his bamboo skewer mini connectors a minute ago, but now... He just sh uh, uh, shared another way to do uh, a connection of maker pipe to a wall. And this is really great because we talked about this a bit ago, as he mentioned, uh, you know, different ways to basically secure a flange or some kind of horizontal pipe to the wall. And what he's done here is basically he's taken uh, the coupling and he's using an eye hook screwed into a wall to basically sit inside of this tab here because there's really nothing you know happening here except the bolt going through. You know, the conduit stops inside the connector about here. Um, so you can really utilize this interior space. We left it open so you could have uh, a hack where you you know secure use like threaded pipe inserts to reinforce the joint. And you still have room even after that because the way this tab is designed, it kind of sticks out a bit to leave it open in there. And what he's done is use that eye hook and he's just run the bolt through it and then, you know, secured everything together, and now he's got this attached to the wall. And this may not be as strong as a, you know, full-on bolted flange. It's got like six, you know, large, long screws that are going into the wood. But this is a, a really good technique and interesting thing to keep in mind if you're doing a connection to a horizontal wall. As you can see, it sits pretty much right up against the wall as far as that tab will let you. And, uh, and I imagine it's a, a pretty good solution for this kind of thing, but it's going to have that engagement from the eye hook. So I think it'll be a great solution for different things, which is really great. So thanks so much for sharing this, Kyle. Really awesome hack and appreciate you posting it. Last but not least is a build from Douglas. And this is really great. He said, my wife asked me to visit a friend's chicken wire squirrel proof garden enclosure and then asked me to build one for. He said they use PVC pipe for their roof and he wanted, or his wife asked him to avoid that. So he found maker pipe and conduit. And this is what he came up with. Uh, first of all, really beautiful garden. And the, the actual walls of it are made with wood, which is a really common thing that we've seen. We've seen people do, you know, really large garden enclosure structures with wood and then build the roof out of condo and maker pipe. And that's exactly what he did as well. As you can see here, looks like it's a pretty, pretty long um, garden set up here. They've got quite a few raised beds. And then, you know, as we just said, they've got the... Uh, the wood beams going all the way around in the whole enclosure. And then the roof, they basically, I think, just slotted. Actually, no, they just used, looks like two-hole straps. So it looks like the, you know, triangle shape of the enclosure, the, the horizontal pipes just sit on top of the wooden beams and then are secured with two-hole straps and then secured into the wood there. And then there's some connectors going up to create the triangle shape. I think it's T-connectors. Maybe it's all T-connectors, except maybe in the corner, might be something different. No, I think it's all T-connectors uh, from what I can tell. So there's just a T-connector that connects and has a long horizontal pipe. And then um, you know they have going all the way down. And then they're using uh, T-connectors at an angle, as you can see here, to create the pitch roof. And uh, yeah, it looks really awesome. It's quite, quite detailed. Did some green paint on there. And that's secured and that created the roof. And then he just added the rest of the you know fencing material. It looks like maybe chicken wire or hardware cloth. All of that is uh, surrounding it and turned it into an enclosure. And then now he's got the uh, the gate he can go inside and out of, uh, which is, is really great. And just an awesome, really beautiful enclosure all around. And it's really cool to see the way you use Maker Pipe and Conduit in it. Thanks so much for sharing that. And thanks, everybody, for posting your builds. As always, we love seeing them. You can share your builds in our Facebook group, in the community. You can text us, send them through email or DM them on social media. All kinds of different ways you can share your builds, and we'd love to see them and highlight them in this weekly episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you have a good week, and we'll see you in the next video.